welcome to Really Random Rants, the show where we do just that. I'm Tim, and this is... I'm Ian McElhinney. I play Sir Paris and Selby in Game of Thrones. You don't want to mess with me, or I'll cut you down on my sword. I play Val L in Krypton, and you don't want to mess with me either, because I know all the mysteries of the world, and I can tell you what you don't want to hear. Shall we begin? Let's begin now. My first question for you is, how did you get started in acting? Uh, you know, I, I never really even thought about it until I was like 15 or 16. That I remember being asked, not asking myself, but being asked to take part in a play. Which I did, more or less, because I thought, well, why not? And I couldn't believe how much fun it was and how exciting I find it to be on a stage. Uh, and I realized, oh, I like being up here. A lot of people find stage unnerving. I find it exciting. And I thought, well, perhaps I'll keep on doing this. And the more I did it, the more I thought, actually, I think what I want to be, what I want to do is, is be an actor. So I stuck at it. Now, funnily enough, having said that, for a long time I thought, I don't know how you make a living as an actor. So I stopped, uh, I, I, I continued my studies and thought I'd better do something more sensible. And then when I was about 30, I realized, you know something, until or unless you do this, you'll be happy. So at that age, I thought, well, I'll do it. And if after five years it doesn't feel like it's working well enough, I'll give it up. But after five years, I thought, yeah, it's working well enough. I'm simple. So, how did you get started on Game of Thrones? I went in for an interview. Um, I was offered a part. I didn't know it was based on books. I didn't know, none of us necessarily knew at that stage how successful it was going to be. It was, quote, another job. And uh, then it turned out to be the phenomenon that it is, you know. But it was literally just the standard procedure. They're willing to see you, go in and meet them, read something for them, and wait and see what happens. Okay, so two more questions for you. Yeah. Uh, the first one is, if Game of Thrones and Krypton ever did a crossover, which character would you want to portray in that? Oh. <laughs> Well, some sort of strange mix of, of Barristan, the nobility, if you like, of Barristan, and the, the scientific wizardry of Val El would be a fabulous combination. I mean, General Zod in Krypton has the audacity to refer to me as a frail old man. So, if that is how Val El is perceived, I would like him to have a bit of Sir Barristan's steel so that nobody could dare refer to him as a frail old man. Okay, and my final question for you is, can you tease anything coming up in Krypton in the next few episodes? You know, I honestly can't, and it's not that I'm, I'm being coy and not giving away secrets. The wonderful thing about Krypton is that because it's an open book, it's a world that none of us knows, uh, and a peer, time period in that world that none of us knows, anything and everything is possible, and no matter what I might imagine, I am quite sure the writers will come up with something even more extraordinary, so I'm looking forward to that myself as much as any of the viewers. 